that's a really really important day we are finally gonna raise the boat and put the centerboard down and treat the centerboard and that means that soon we're gonna go to the water i'm roberta and i'm duca and for the past year we have been building our own time shipping container house so we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home but guess what we just found our dream project before we expected this abandoned sailboat so we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we're going to go back and finish the house. That's a really, really important day. We are finally gonna raise the boat and put the centerboard down and treat the centerboard and that means that soon we're gonna go to the water. Almost there. It's just like we're getting so so close to go to the water. This is like the last step. After that, if we use the travel lift, that that means we're gonna go to the water. That's the. She's smiling. You, you cannot see, but she is smiling. I'm sure, 150 percent sure. 200, 200. I think we should show everyone how high really is the boat. That's my tape measurement. Check this out. That's how high are you? Seven. And that's how high the boat is right now. Check this out. Yeah, I think we have a huge draft, right? Six. Yeah, the total draft is like two hoberas almost. <laughs> yeah, it's almost two of you. Yeah, we have probably around 2.7 meters draft. Yeah, yeah that's so cool. The boat can, just... you, can you try to get on the water line? <laughs> no, <laughs> not high enough. So this is how the center bar is right now? It's not bad actually. The trunk of the center bar. It's better than I thought. What we still need... What we still need to do before cleaning this is to install two anodes in place. Right there. There. And there. You won't be able to see. Yeah. We are getting really, really close. If we are able to go on the top of the boat. <laughs> oh yeah. The boat is so high from the ground now that we cannot even find a ladder high enough to get in the boat. We are just like stuck here on the bottom. <laughs> We'll, we'll find, hopefully. about time to close this hole yeah one last hole on the hole of yeah, the we boat have three holes total we're gonna close two today and we have one extra that we are waiting for a piece yeah we're gonna close <laughs> try to having fun there having fun yeah <laughs> duking yeah yeah little duke huh? oh i yeah. need the sika better to put there the sika flex you know what I mean? Because then the screw is in place. You just and you don't you don't need to touch Sikaflex. If you do it here, you're gonna be yeah. hard to put the. But you love okay. touching. 
Yeah. Yeah. I love Sika Flex. He hates Sika Flex. Yeah, my he thing is epo epoxy. <laughs> love, man. Love is just each one love something different, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I love Hobera, for example. Behind the camera. As I, my friend says, it's a one, it's a one. <laughs> so now we are doing teamwork. I close one flange and he closed another flange and we see who is faster. I mean, he's going to be faster because he has no nuts. Uh, we have some nuts here that we need yeah. to put the two underneath. So definitely, I'm, just I'm, excuse. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose the competition for sure then. I think it got a little bit dirt, yeah? At least, if it doesn't leak, it's good. But if it leaks, I'm gonna be really mad. So what did you find there? Yeah, that's a cool place. That's <laughs> the center board trunk, you can check. We're just opening to see if it helps to paint from the top because this part is going to be a lot easier to work from here. So what's the plan? The plan is to apply rust converter because some spots it's impossible to take 100% of the rust so you're going to convert the rust and hope for the best. Yeah, we're going to apply this first wait a little bit, apply again, and then we're going to apply Interseal 678D from International, hopefully two or three coats, and then we're ready to start, you know, bottom paint. But before this, we actually tried to sand this with a lot of different tools. All different tools. And yesterday they used a uh, pressure washer in here, yeah. and now it's pretty clean to start working on it. By feeling. <laughs> yeah, there's no way, no, no other way to do this. We have a mirror. Excited to finally start painting the center board. Yep, that's a really, really, really good sign. <laughs> it's true. It's still a lot of work, but good sign. In a long time we don't do that. Now that the boat's really high, we can put all the way down. One, two. Do 
guys know what this means? This is the primer for the center board. And if we're gonna paint the primer on the center board, what does that mean? We're gonna paint the bottom of the boat, finally. Yeah, today we're gonna start painting the bottom. That's gonna take like two to three days if we have good weather. That means that in probably like four days, you splash this boat. Yay, finally. This paint? The final one. <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna. Are you guys ready for the mess? <laughs> another paint job, another messy job. supposed to be a beautiful image of taking the last tape together and of course we miss a small tiny tape can you hold me <laughs> do you want me to go with you <laughs> get it so yeah. what do we think? It's beautiful now. Yeah, so basically now we are gonna wait for this to dry because we have five coats of antifouling and that's yeah. a lot. So we need at least like a couple of days, maybe three days to dry. We are following the instructions of the technician, the paint, te the paint technician, so. Yeah, the same one that helped us since we started painting the boat, yeah. the entire system, he was the guy that helped us and supported us to do it right. And now after this dries on Monday, we, today is Saturday, on Monday we are gonna replace the place for the stands for the supports and we're gonna play just paint these small spots and i think in like four days or five days we're gonna splash the bow yeah this is gonna be really really exciting but still uh we are still nervous but there is nothing we can do now we need to splash the boat right i'm not nervous I'm you know excited. yeah i'm excited also but nervous <laughs> i mean like this boat has been on the drive for 23 years already it's an huge important moment now let's let the boat dry and we have something else we need to work on before we can splash i don't know if you can see but we're going to replace these lines today and also we're going to install two bars here with two gaskets that's to close this space in between the center board and the hole the reason for that is so you know the turbulence of the water is not as bad so we have these bars that are installed next to the center board so we need to put the center board up so we can install the gasket in place and also because we need to replace the lines and it's gonna be easier with the center board up I feel stupid. The reason why it wasn't going is because I had this pin in place. It was preventing.
of course there is always a surprise. We always find new things on this boat. And this week we found that we have an extra anode that we had no idea. We have an anode on the center board. Right. I don't know if you can see. But these screws hold an anode on the bottom. So now we need to try to take these off and replace this anode because this is the only anode on the center board itself. We have a lot of anodes on the truck, but not on the center board. So I'm gonna try to do that and today we're gonna replace finally the ropes for the center board and then I think we're pretty much good to go to the water I guess. A little bit bigger than there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Don't celebrate yet. <laughs> if we did that before painting it would be a lot easier. But of course you never do things in the right order. We didn't know it exists. Ah. Ah. And now we need to find a way of taking these before ready. By the way, this is the only anode that we didn't replace because I don't even know why they had an anode here. It's outside, it's not underneath the water line, so it's out of the water and it's still brand new. That means it wasn't really necessary. So, we just left it. Eu acho que virou um light gear. <laughs> we have good, bad, and good news. So, first good news, we finally took this anode off. This is the last anode we found on the center board. It's too dark to see now. But this is the only anode on the center board that we didn't even know it exists. But now we managed to take it off. Bad news, we didn't find in time. The guy that makes anodes for us said that he doesn't have any more this metal to do the anode because this is not zinc anode this boat is galvanized that means that we are supposed to use Indau 8 that's the league of aluminium for the anodes as the factory said as the design said so we decide to just give a clean to the old anode because we still have some material left and he already have the uh, <laughs> mold for this he got all the measurements everything that he needs and we are going to install this one back so we can splash the boat tomorrow and then there is the third and good news is that we found out that we can actually exchange this, replace this anode while on the water because yeah. this hatch is higher than the water line. That means we can open the hatch, the centerboard hatch, and replace the anode. So for now, it's gonna be the old one. As soon as he makes a new one, we just replace all the water. Good news. The way this goes is just simple, easy peasy.
That's it. Yep, it's so cool. This was the final episode before we splashed them all. Yeah, we're not lying. That's not a clickbait. <laughs> Next week, you're going to see the boat. <laughs> it's so cool. We can't wait to show you. Of course, you know the boat is on the water already. But the next most exciting thing, the first one is, of course, just to splash the boat. But then to show you is just, yeah. yeah. And by the way, get ready because it's going to be an emotion one. So don't make fun of me. It was a really important day. I was really nervous and I was really excited because I've been waiting for this for seriously at least seven, eight years since I dream on having a boat that we can actually leave inside of the boat. I didn't edit yet. I'm going to start editing today, actually. It's yeah. going to be a tough one to edit because we need to make justice to all the work. And we had like a lot of cameras <laughs> around. Yeah, it was like five <laughs> cameras around. Yeah, no, not other people's camera, our cameras. Like yeah. one GoPro, other GoPro, the big camera, the drone, the, the phone, <laughs> everything. It's going to be a tough one to edit. But now the boat is finally ready. The only thing we need to do before we go to the water is to install the anodes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but this is like. It's quick. It's just like click, screw in place, and that's it. It's done. And the painting on the, the bottom, the last one. Yeah, and the last painting because we need to lift the boat and paint the supports. But that's gonna be really yeah. easy. I have one thing that we didn't say yet. The boat, when it, when the center board is up, it, the drafts one meter around yeah. one meter. But when the center board and the rudder is down, it's like 2.7 meters. That's why the boat was so high on the ground. It's a huge draft, but that, just so you understand, is not a kill. That's a centerboard. That means that there is no ballast on the centerboard. So when you go, f uh, how you call it, like, not upwind, the opposite? Downwind. Downwind. <laughs> when, you go, when you go downwind, you don't even need to put the centerboard down. The centerboard is only to go upwind, so you, c you, you can be able to go upwind well. So it's gonna. I'm, I'm really curious to see this boat sailing. Because I don't know. It's just I never used a boat like this one before. As you can tell, to put it, the center board up and down, it's manual. Manual. With the winches. A lot of work. A muscle lot of work. work. Yeah. It's is it heavy or not? It's not that heavy, but takes a long time. So by the end, you're tired, but it's not heavy. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like yeah, it's fine. And then ten minutes later, it's like <laughs> yeah, it's not that fine. I'm gonna get used to it. I either, I don't know, get strong or I get strong. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way, <laughs> no other choice. <laughs> yeah, but for today, you guys were already patient enough to wait until now, so it's time to welcome on board our, our new, new patrons. patrons for this so, welcome on board Frederick, Mike, Dan, Gerald, Gavin, and we also want to thank the donations to our PayPal. Thanks so much. Also, Gary, <laughs> also, Dean, Jeff, and Andrew. Guys, thanks so, so much. We really appreciate your support and it's with your support that we are floating our dream boat. That's just amazing. By the way, don't expect us to set sail in two weeks. Oh, yeah. We are splashing the boat, but we are still working a lot on a lot of things inside of the boat before we can set sail. Next week, we are going to show you the list that we need, the things we need to do before we set sails. Actually, I think we're going to show in the week after the next week. Next week is just party time. Let, we're not going to talk okay. about work. Next week is just party time. It's just splash time, <laughs> fun time, nervous time, but it's going to be fun. It was good. Yeah, this, that was probably one of the most amazing days of our past, I don't know how many years. That was like a really special day. It was really it's crazy to, to imagine a boat in the water for like a year and a half and you just cannot see actually the thing. But once it touches the water and floats, and moves right now. It's not moving. There is no weight. This boat's just I too heavy. I think this day and the day we bought the boat were there. Yeah, but I think when we set sail, it's gonna be even bigger. <laughs> but more about that next week. See you guys next week. See you guys. <laughs>